Sunak there launching his campaign yesterday. Well, one of those high-profile backers of Rishi Sunak's campaign is the former chief whip turned COVID rebel, Mark Harper. Uh, welcome to the programme, Mark. I suppose, first of all, what attracted Morning, you Tom. to Rishi Sunak? Why are you backing the former Chancellor's campaign? Well, uh, Tom, people that listen to the show will know that I've, for, for a, a while now, was very clear about why I felt Boris Johnson needed to go. Um, and I think Rishi Sunak will be a breath of fresh air. He's going to restore trust, I think, to the way government is run. I think he's got very sound, solid economic policies, as you just heard there in that clip, about being honest with people about the challenges facing us. Uh, and I think he appeals to voters across the whole United Kingdom. Leave voters, remain voters, uh, people in the north, people in the south, to help bring the United Kingdom together. So that's why I'm backing him. Um, and I came out and declared for him uh, last Friday when he announced his campaign. And I'm very happy to be going out on the airwaves and talking to you this morning to, to explain why. It's interesting listening to this pitch about being sort of this fresh face, relatively unsullied and all the rest of it. Because, of course, Rishi Sunak has been at the centre of government policy for the last two and a half years. Would he really represent a change from those years, as he has been uh, really at the core of Downing Street, at the core of the economic policy, at the core of the last government's political operation? Well, look, I think on, on the change front, it's going to be about style and about honesty and integrity. On economic policy, you know, I'm very happy to, and I think he's very, he's very happy to defend the decisions he's made over the last couple of years. I mean, we've had a one in a 300-year economic shock with the global pandemic. I'm incredibly proud of the pace and the scope of the package that he rolled out with furlough and all of the support to the hospitality uh, and leisure sector that was absolutely pummeled by uh, COVID. You mentioned I was chair of the COVID recovery group. Rishi Sunak was the strongest supporter in government of taking balanced decisions that dealt with the threat from COVID, but also recognised that you had to keep the economy functioning and all of the other risks. Uh, and I felt very um, comforted when I was chair of the COVID recovery group <coughs> that he was making those arguments uh, inside government. And I think he's the, the only candidate that's laying out a really serious pitch about dealing with inflation, getting taxes down. And you heard in his clip, it's when, uh, not if, but you can't roll out massive unfunded tax cuts and massive spending pledges and remain credible. And the Conservative Party has taken a long time to establish economic credibility. And I don't want us to lightly throw that away.